In our recent tutorials, we have started working with the test plan module of ALM, where we got introduced to writing test cases in test plan module, and that how exactly a test plan can be actually written, and what are the steps involved in order to write your test cases and manage them, and at the same time also exploring beyond to understand how parameters would be helpful to enhance the flexibility of your test cases by passing multiple set of data during the execution. Don't worry, we will be looking into that when we come to the execution. But today, we will be getting beyond the basic learnings of the test plan module and understanding what other features are available under test plan module. Additionally, we also will be exploring that how exactly a requirement tree can be directly converted into test cases to further reduce your manual effort. No matter when you talk about manual efforts, it could be tedious, but yes, there are certain options which can minimize your efforts further to certain extent and that's what we would be exploring in today's tutorial so hello friends welcome back to testing in nutshell this is Dinesh Kumar saying and we are looking ahead to understand the part two of the test plan module let's get started and understand more about the same In the previous tutorial, we have understood how to create a test under the test plan segment of the ALM and also creating the different steps using the parameters in order to pass multiple set of data and also understood how exactly these steps can be uh, further improvised if you want to use and edit the option and then include more steps. In this tutorial, we'll be going beyond that from the test plan itself and understanding other options related to it. So the most important thing is, what if I want to? Have a linkage for example now this login is linked to a particular requirement login here so you see a requirement here and you have a test plan a test for that which has steps now yes we can now start linking as we have got some set of entities which can be linked together so if you are in test you click on requirement coverage if you are in requirements you click on test coverage so to do that you can just switch to requirement details view and you will see the test coverage option here. All you have to do is click on select and pick up that particular test which you have created for this requirement and press on this add to coverage button. And as you do that, it gets linked to this particular test now. Now just go back to test plan and refresh your test plan. Now you would see an icon here next to requirement coverage which shows that requirement login is now linked to this test. So that's so simple and easy to link a requirement with test or test to a requirement. But additionally, we do have certain interesting options which can allow you to minimize your efforts. What if you have more than 50 or 100 plus test cases to be linked? So doing that manually could be taking a lot of time. So generally in requirements, you have an option to convert the test or convert this requirement into test directly. So ALM provides you an option which allows you to convert the exact tree of the requirement into the test plan tree. So to do that, you have to just right click on the main folder from where you want to copy and click on convert to test. Now here, a wizard will open, which will allow you to create the entire tree of test plan using three steps. First, you select what kind of conversion do you want to do? The first option says convert lowest child requirement to design steps. That means if you have written the requirement description in such a way that it can be used as a design step, then you can use the first option. It will convert the folder into folder, requirement into test, and the description into test case. But we have not written descriptions for all the requirements. Let's move to the next option, which says convert lowest child requirement to test, which means it will convert a folder into folder, requirement into folder, and the last thing into test which is the lowest in the tree third option will convert everything into folders and you have to create your test and design steps manually so you have to pick an option here which suits the best to you and the remaining part can be done manually by you so let's go for the second option which is most relevant for us we want folder to be folder and requirement to be test click on next now here there's a conversion which is shown to you. If you just can compare from the left to the right, you can see that the same tree has been created, but instead of requirement, these are the tests. So let's go next here. And then you can select where do you want to place it. 
So you already have flight reservation folder. I don't want to disturb that. So let's create a new folder under subject root and say test. So test folder, I can say rather. And what I want to do here is I just want to import and show you that how exactly the benefits of this option can be utilized. Say OK and select this folder, highlight it and say OK. Now click on finish. It will convert everything and confirm you the conversion is finished. Now let's go to test plan and you see a test folder created here. Open that flight reservation and the four test. The benefit what you achieve is the requirement coverage is already done for all the tests to their respective requirements. So this could be quite simple and easy. Instead of doing it manually on the test plan, you can convert the requirements into test using that option convert to test. Additionally, if you want to link the defects, you can do that. You can define dependencies. You can include business model linkage, or you can even see the progress on the history, what changes have taken place. And plus, the status of the requirement will also get updated. How? Let's go back to the requirement tree view. And now let's refresh the requirements just to take the effect the changes. Initially, the requirement coverage status were not covered. But right now, the all the status have moved to no run automatically. Why? Because you converted the requirements to test. So the linkage has been done and now requirement status has been updated that the test is prepared for it. As you execute now them, the requirement coverage will further update to the pass, fail or not completed state. So that's what we will explore beyond when we come to the next tutorials. So here we have understood a lot and similarly a refresh option, a filter criteria, a flagging option or email option will be provided to you each and everywhere. And you can always click on the details view to see the details of a particular test. So same tabs will be displayed to you in a pop-up window, but the same thing can be accessed from the right panel. So yes, this is what we have in the test plan for you. In the next tutorial, we'll be covering about executing the test. All right, team, I hope that tutorial was really helpful to add more values to your learning with respect to test planning. And yes, we were talking about the sum of external and internal features, which might make your job more relaxing or less tedious and reduce a lot of your manual efforts in order to prepare your test cases. Stay tuned, we will be coming back to you with a lot of other tutorials of ALM where we will be talking about test lab, that is executions and how we manage the defects and also reporting and dashboard. So stay tuned for the upcoming tutorials. So that's all from this particular episode team. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'll be there to address your queries and answer them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.